What up, my friends? Jay here, and we're back bringing you another head-to-head -head game of Madden Ultimate Team. And as you can see, I am in the Redskin jerseys. My opponent is in the ugly Cowboy jerseys. Just kidding. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm just running Dime, Dime Man Press the way if you've seen the previous game. Just to see what he likes to run. He seems he's in a... He was coming out in five wide. And he looks like he has man beaters all over the field. And then, oh, Sean Taylor does not get the interception that we were hoping for. And he's definitely... A very disciplined player because he's not rolling up. That time my spy disappeared, but he's... I'm like, okay. We send the blitz. <laughs> we get the sack. We force a second and 18. And now we're going back to the oh, man press. You can and Nitrate Lane gets the interception. And we like to start this game getting a turnover. But I was noticing that he was really disciplined and staying in the pocket. And that is not the greatest for me if I'm not getting the block sheds with... Uh, Julius Peppers and Jason Hatcher. So now we're going into running the ball, and it looks like we're able to move the ball kind of at will. And then I start to I start to see he changes defense to run defense, and then here we go, baby. Mari Cooper get the touchdown the read we were looking for, and there we caught him in the cover too. Took advantage of it, and we're going on defense again. I really like this song, the Hedgehog song. I don't know. I like. I'm having a hard time commentating. I kind of want to sing to it. But okay, back into the game. Finally, the, the pressure comes in. Good coverage all the way down the field. He was looking to go deep. Didn't get his read that he wanted. And here, I'm just. He came out and split close. I was just looking to try to take the read over the middle. Doesn't hang on to the ball. And here, third and twenty. Rolling to the outside. Looks like I'm covering his read. I don't know why I didn't send the spy right there, but pressure it does come in he just lobs one up and we break it up and he's playing the ball so at this point in the game i'm kind of thinking like oh well this should be a pretty easy game from the looks of it and here's where it starts to get interesting so at first though we're gonna run it we're gonna go back to reggie bush we're gonna you know we get eight yards we like that here we're gonna run the same exact play go up the middle get the first down probably could have cut that inside and maybe beat but i I'm, i try to stay away from hit six and then here i had y wide open but i wanted to go to that play because that's how i scored and john elway letting me down overthrows it here we go to the dump off he was using it at that time i gotta when I, the people are in cover two i gotta take that y route and then there oh he wasn't baseline so i didn't think the flat would play it and look at this hits me with the hadouken fumble and at this point in the game i realized he has QB sneak defense. This guy can't be as bad as I thought. Here, we're still in the dime normal. He goes to the inside zone, thinking it will get the run. I'm pretty stout on playing against the run. There, man beater. I didn't recognize the first read. He's running a little bit of a different offense than I'm used to, so I'm not exactly sure exactly where the first read is. Here, he's going to lob the ball up. And Josh Norman, sure you can interception. Josh Norman is a baller. There's a reason he still goes for a lot of coins for being an 89 overall. I'm pretty sure he's like a 93, 94 overall if he had a better awareness. And here we're going to go back in the running the ball. And oh my god, that's my cover two beater. But the pressure was coming in and I didn't love it. Oh, not disciplined. And then there, could have hit him in the backfield. I tripped. Still held him a few yards. So now we got back in a passing situation. Break up the pass. Doesn't hang on to the ball. And we're thinking, okay, we're, we're still gonna, we, we're still in good position here. Here, rolling to the outside. He knows to stay in the pocket, which is not many people have discipline. And he dots me, man beater. And he could go. We hold him to the 10 yard line. And here, I try to send the heat. Doesn't come in. And then I'm playing his first read. Rolls out to the outside and sucks my zone down. And great play by my opponent right there. So. Now it's 7 7. We're hoping he might be in cover two. He switches to cover four. That wasn't the play I should have been running that time. This play, I was hoping he'd only be rushing two. And if you don't if you don't have three people rushing on the blitz angle, you're gonna pancake them all. It wasn't the route I was looking for. There! Whew, can't believe Deshaun Jack. I can't believe I got that animation. That could have been picked. And then here, I wasn't expect I was gonna run an out route. I probably still could have ran an out route. It was man press. But I was like, Psst. Fuck it, I'm just gonna toss it up. Maybe he'll beat the press. And but we're getting balled halftime. It's 7-7. And here we notice he was he had the run D, so we're trying to get into our passing offense. And we're dinking and dunking, and hopefully if 
eventually he's going to bite down on some of these routes over the middle and that's where we're going to try to hit him over the top unfortunately right here we have a open for a touchdown but we go to the safe route and just get our first down and so i saw that again i go for it uh his deep hook that time he wasn't mid usury the middle linebacker so that's why i didn't get there this time he is he uses it and we jordy nelson will come down with that i didn't get the exact throw i wanted and third and ten we need a big play we really need a big play and jordy nelson goes clutch gets open on the c route the pass protection held we were worried because he was sending uh edge pressure out of cover two blitzes weren't sure if he'd be in cover four or cover two luckily he was in cover two and we got the play we wanted and we get the huge touchdown so now we uh we're gonna go back to man he, and then we the pressure comes in oh josh norman i think that was josh norman drops the interception could have probably put the game away right there here beautiful read by my opponent uh nice finesse pass right out get that in gets a good gain right there here i'm still in the man i'm not ready to break on it yet because it is giving him trouble uh, goes over the top. Uh, I had two guys there, Nitro and Lane. I think that was Nitro and Lane. He breaks it up. And then here, good read. He has man beaters all over the field. It looks like he's uh, I, has a lot of people in a bumble with the situation. So here I'm like, all right, we're going to we're gonna go to my other defense. The big nickel strong. And the pressure comes in. Get the fumble. But we don't recover it. But we're going to stay in the same defense. He's used to – he's been – we got to make him play against a little zone there. He tries to go over the top. Fourth and 21. Now we're going to go back to the man. If he has a 20-yard man beater and beats me, he deserves it. Here goes over the top. Doesn't hang on the ball. And this, we just need to score. We got to get in field goal range. Here, run it inside zone. At this time, I realize he's, he's running my old run defense. So I know he's going to be able to lock up the run. So, But we're going to go to the toss. And the worst call ever didn't think he was in what i thought he was in because he wasn't baseline and here we're like please be cover two please be cover two don't be cover four be cover two i'm 100 percent playing cover two and this time we get the oh we go back to the play from before jordy nelson huge play in pressure oh my goodness we got lucky he wasn't in cover four it was in cover two <laughs> And here at this point, I'm not even trying to score. I know he has a run D. I'm just running the clock. I'm burning his timeouts. And we're just going to play to get one more stop because with the exception of one really good play, we've held him in check for the most part of this game. So that's how we're going to play just to get the stop. And hopefully that's what we do. But man, I can't believe how lucky I just got on that <laughs> But we'll take it. We got a two-score lead here. We're going back. We get the block shed. He gets the ball off just in time. Now the pressure's starting to come in, and he's starting to leave the pocket. And this is the type of stuff we like to see. There probably should have thrown it to the other cross over the middle. He would have got the first down. Didn't get it here. And playing uh, his read. Goes over the top. Dot by him. But the running back does not hang on to the ball. We got fourth and ten. You know. Uh-oh. Okay. How long is he staying? He leaves the pocket. We send the spy. I oh, dumb out. Can. But we get the Hadouken fumble. And that, my friends, is going to be how the game ends. Um, I hope you like this game. I'm going to... I'm... We're going to... I'm liking the game again. Um, you see, I run a lot of man. I I get worried about zone because there's a lot of ways to manipulate the zones deep and give up automatic touchdowns. So I like to make people force their way down the field, as you can see. And that's my story. But Jordy Nelson, MVP. We got no complaints. So, uh, yeah. Show you some of the stats. Voyo con <laughs> Voya con Diaz Braz. If you don't know where that's from, New Point Break movie's coming out. Peace!